and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got the brand new Ultimate Legends. Now, Madden's been doing it a kind of way that I wasn't really expecting for them to do it, but I don't mind that they're doing it. It gives us content throughout the week. Maybe they know that us content creators have had no content all week. Because, I, I mean, I could be entirely wrong, right? My remote's about to die, so I'm just going to get that done while talking. So, anyways, maybe they just know that things are kind of weak right now and they're going to be dropping them. I don't remember if last year they dropped them bracketed like that. I kind of almost feel like what they did last year was they just dropped them on Saturdays. Now, again, what do I know? I mean, I wasn't exactly on top of things last year, but still, it is what it is, guys. I'm super excited for some brand new Ultimate Legends. It is fun to have at least two every few days because at least it keeps us up to date with them. You know, I don't have to wait for Saturdays. And hopefully Saturday there's a big drop again, so it's kind of like it never happened, you know? It'd be great. But, guys, today we got two ultimate legends coming today now will they be in packs 10 30 the mystery we may never know because Mie is always messing things up like that but hopefully they do now i'm excited to go over these cards hopefully i can use one of them on my team that'd be pretty cool if i could but guys before we head on to the video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are here for noti gang always give the video a big thumbs up it helps the channel grow it helps the channel a lot if you guys want to see us get to 20k always hit the thumbs up button as well as if you're new hit the subscribe button come join the family Turn on that noti bell and comment down below what you think of these two ultimate legends guys now as you guys can probably see by the title today's ultimate legends are check menardrick and i believe kurt warner now if you guys don't already know kurt warner hasn't had a card since his theme diamond master card so guys kurt warner had like every ability before he was like that quarterback i'd imagine a new kurt warner probably gonna have an insane amount of abilities although pa patrick mahomes probably has them also so it won't make too much of a difference I typed in Kirk, didn't I? Yeah. So let's go see what Kurt Warner's price. I wonder if it's skyrocketed yet if people have noticed because people are going to be pounding him up. Yeah, Kurt Warner is 305. People are selling them. They're putting them up right at this moment as we speak. Kurt Warner's last card was pretty great at passing. The next card's going to this card's going to probably have like almost all 99 passing. He's usually known as a great, great passer. Mobile wise, he's going to have no speed. I mean, kind of expected. And then we also got a new Chuck Benardrick. Now, Chuck Benardrick isn't really a guy that most people typically want. He's usually more of like a theme team Eagles type of guy. His stats are usually okay. If he does have a zone though, I might have to give him a look because I do need a zone outside linebacker. I believe he does play outside linebacker. So let's head over to these sets, see if they are officially in the game because that's kind of an issue we have every single week with these cards. Set it over. Hopefully they are in the game. Ultimate Legends 11. We do not see them at this exact moment in time, right? Nope. It's backing out of Ultimate Team, but guys, if you want to pull these Ultimate Legends, probably the best bet is the Legend Fantasy Packs, the Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs, of course. But I don't really like to open for them. I like pulling for LTD cards. I don't really like pulling for cards that are in the game naturally because those cards that are in the game naturally, kind of a waste of coins to pull for them because in my opinion, you could just buy them for cheaper. Like think about it, you buy two Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs. You don't pull them. You could have just bought any of the ones you wanted for that same price. That's why I'd probably be back just waiting for the initial things to come out. So let's go back in now. Should be out now. It should be out this time at least. And if not, we'll go check the um, solo challenges because it could always be there. Nope, they're not out yet, so let's check the solos. And if not, I'm going to need a few minutes, and I'll be right back. Hopefully. Let's see. Challenges. Ultimate Legends. Release three. Here we go. So we got Chuck Benardrick, Kurt Warner. Take on Ultimate Legends. Kurt Warner and Chuck Benardrick are in a skill position player and their power player. Beat the Ultimate Legends are in a token before it ends. So, guys, you guys have seven more days to start earning your tokens. I don't know how many tokens you can get at this point. I'll be honest with you guys. I still don't know where it shows tokens. I'm going to put it all out there for you guys. You guys want to let me know? Please comment down below. I don't even know where it tells you. I'm assuming you do get to just get a token for everyone that you play. I don't know. Or is it just the kickoff ones? I, I really don't know. Anyways. Anyways. Go play your solo. Start getting these done. You guys have released one, which is, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, you got 24. You guys have 24 total solos to go play before February 19th, which is seven days from now. I highly recommend you go start getting that done because at this point, it's not looking not looking too great for all you guys who are slacking. Now, I'm obviously slacking too, but I'm going to get that done. I see my as well downtime. Now, let's head back over to sets. Hopefully, they are out and we can confirm they are in the game. Damn, I don't know why. The, why does this always take so long? I'll check the auction. Okay, you know what, guys? I'll be right back. Yeah, so I'm going to take you guys on over to Mudhead to show you guys the cards because these cards are not going to be up for a while. They're taking quite a while. So Chuck Bednarik, let me say his name right. I think I'm saying it wrong. 6'3", 233 pounds, 86 speed, 88 excel, 87 agility, 91 strength, 
88 jumping, 94 awareness, 94 play rec, 88 block shed, 93 pursuit, 95 tackle, 96 hit power. So hit power is amazing. Tackle is amazing. Pursuit's amazing. Block shedding is okay. Play rec's great. Speed's decent. Not really. Agi agility's okay. Excel's okay. Awareness is good. It really comes down to the zone coverage. And he has 81 power move and no zone coverage. This card's ass. Wow. That killed it right there. See, if you're going to be slow at outside linebacker, right? You're probably a pass rusher. If you're going to be 86 speed and you have no pass rush, as you guys can see. You better be a zone coverage guy. So he kind of, he can barely stop the run at this point. Can barely rush the pass. And he can't really play coverage. He's like the jack of all nothing. He's like the jack of equally sucking around the board. He can hit really hard, but I, th I think Bo Jackson can run backwards and not run. That kind of sucks. I'm kind of disappointed in this card. As per usual, this card's only good on an Eagle Steam team. Kind of upset by that, honestly. Look at this. I thought the flashback problem was over. Shout out to NFL Bleach for that uh, under underrated comment. It'll be the worst 95 over in the game. Very, very true. Honestly, true. Yeah, he's a 90, what, 96 overall, and he has one stat above 96. That, that's ridiculous. Card's okay. I mean, it's not entirely ass, but, like, not my thing. Big hitter, yes, shift ball, yes. I sent it over to the next card, which should be this Kurt Warner card. I'm just probably spending a little more time there anyways. Kurt Warner, 96 overall. Really cool card, art, quite honestly. 6 foot 2, 214. So, let's see. Speed, 62. That's ass, but we knew that. 59 Excel, 57 Agility, 55 Strength, 47 Jumping. Okay, so here we go. 92 Throw Power. It's kind of low. Wow. I thought that... Am, am I am I dumb? I'm gonna look this up. Am I dumb or did, was Kurt Warner was Kurt Warner throw power barely go up? I could I could I could just be dumb. It, it's very possible that I'm being dumb, but that's a really low throw power. Let me see something here. I'm hold up. I'm going I'm going on my open team real quick. What was his throw power beforehand? It was an 87. So a card that came out the first month of Madden went up only uh, five. Okay, that's good. 96 short short accuracy. That's solid. 96 medium accuracy, that's amazing. 94 deep accuracy, that's really good. 80 throw on the run is really bad. 92 throw under, uh, play action is bad. I don't care for it. And 95 throw under pressure. So as a passer, he's amazing. But guys, I'd rather just have my Pat Mahomes. I mean, he's a 99, so I guess you could always say that. I'd much rather have like a Steve Young. I'm going to get really good passing stats, but also get speed. Honestly, not the best drops overall. Like for a pocket passer, I could have done a little, a little bit better. For me, a Kurt Warner card has to have almost 99 across the board passing and 99 throw power. He has to be like a Mahomes because Mahomes has better passing stats and he can run better. There's really no use for this card. These are about as bad as the NFL 100 quarterbacks. Guys, was not a fan of these drops here at all, to be quite honest with you guys. I think they could have done a little bit better. I think they kind of dropped the ball on these two cards here. Guys, but at the end of the day, you have to realize that these drops during the week are just drops. They're just extra cards to add, extra content. The big bangers come on the Saturdays. We all know this. I don't like a Vic and Dion are not coming out probably any other day than Saturday, but still very excited that they did that we have Ultimate Legends. I mean, gonna at least add up to the market a little bit. As you guys know, the market has been a little bit, it's a little high right now. I'd make a video on this, check that out. Adding guys like Kurt Warner into the mix and some Czech Bernard Benaric might actually increase it a little bit and help us out like price wise because things have been a little bit dead. I don't know how much, but it has some use. Now let's see Czech Bernard. Okay, there you go. There, his card art's up. As you guys can see by his card art. His head looks like, like, tell me if you guys have ever seen this. You guys know those YouTubers when they do uh, thumbnails, like Victionary? They put, like, their own head on a player. Tell me Chuck Benardrick or Benaric doesn't look like he has, like, someone photoshopped his head on. Like, doesn't match the rest of his body. He's kind of looking to the left there. But, I mean, guys, it was a de it was decent at best. Like, at best, I could rate this as a decent drop. Not the biggest fan of it, but it is what it is, guys. We gotta, we gotta take the good with the bad. And hopefully we get like a Vic, a Dion, or a Lawrence Taylor this weekend because that would be super awesome. And I'd definitely be super excited to get a card just like that. I mean, now we're going to play the waiting game. We wait and see, guys. But let's head back on over to the Madden screen. Close up this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to check out the other videos today. We do have a market video and a team MVP video. So stay tuned for all that. I'm out, guys. Let's get to the Mar uh, Madden screen. Okay, right, guys, so that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, you guys already know what to do. But, guys, I'm super excited for the Ultimate Legend. Ultimate Legends should be coming out today. I'm super excited that we're getting them in brackets like this because usually, like I said, I thought they did eight and then they did eight. I didn't know that they did them throughout the week. I don't even know if they ever did, guys. I cannot remember truthfully, but I'm happy they're doing it like this because it gives us something to look forward to every few days because, see, after the Super Bowl ends and they only drop that big promo and then nothing because we have no more flashbacks and more heavyweights and more Team of the Weeks. Once we get rid of all of that, less house rules and everything, it's kind of just dead Saturday through Saturday. So I'm kind of glad they're doing it this way because it does make it a lot easier for content creators, for just Madden players in general, to really keep up to date with what's coming out. 
So I'm kind of happy they're doing it this way. It makes it a lot easier, and it's a lot more fun, honestly. So, as long as they keep doing that, that'd be pretty awesome. We should be getting more. They're going to save the bangers for a little bit later. You guys already know that. Probably won't get Michael Vick for a little bit, or Deion Sanders, or Lawrence Taylor. Hopefully not too long. Maybe like two weeks, I'm thinking. But they never they never drop them right away. They usually do the Calvin. They drop that was the banger to start the week. And then we're going to wait, and then obviously we're going to get another banger right after that shortly. I don't know if it'll be Vic, Deion, or Lawrence first, but it always varies, as you guys do know. But guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you guys picked up any of the new Ultimate Legends. Do you want them on your team? Do you like them? Do you think they're ass? Let me know what you let me know what you guys think. I always like to hear what you guys think. And as well as go down and down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notify bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 200 likes for a nice 10:30 Ultimate Legend Tuesday video? It's Wednesday, actually. It's Wednesday. And comment down below, like I said. Let me know what's going on, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later. Check out the rest of the vids for the day. I'm out. Peace.